Hey there YouTube and welcome to another episode of Kerbal Space Program Live off screen. With our live stream due tomorrow I thought I would do a off screen episode so that we could have a little bit of a practice with what we've got planned for tomorrow. I've created a backup of our normal save game. Our plan for tomorrow's stream is to start to try and get a space station into orbit around Kerbin. Now that's quite a technical thing to do and although we have unlocked all the parts it might be tricky to get the rocket right to get that up into space. So I thought that we would have a look at putting together some rockets off live stream so that we can make sure that when we do do the live stream we get it right. Now, an important part of this is going to be our mobile processing lab. Our aim is going to be to put this in orbit somewhere high above Kerbin so that we can bring science back, bring it to this lab rather than having to take it down to the planet. And the idea behind that is that eventually we might be able to come up with some kind of uh, reusable craft that we can send out to do a mission, bring it back, recover the science, reset everything, send it back out to do another mission. That's the, uh, the general idea. Whether or not it will work, we will have to wait and see. But this is my experiment with putting together a rocket with our space station parts on it so that we can get this thing into space. So stick around I will speed up the video while we actually do the build and we'll see what we come out with at the other end shall we So I think this is uh, going to be our basic design for our space station. You can see in the centre we've got the, the mobile lab and we've loaded that with solar panels and batteries so we've got plenty of electric charge for everything that we might need to do there including all the lights and everything. We've attached loads and loads and loads of docking ports so we've got four at the top four at the bottom there and one right on the bottom there. That one's going to help us attach it to the rest of the rocket but also will give us uh, an extra docking port at the back there which will be useful. The more docking ports the better in my opinion. Um, we've also got uh, plenty of lights, we've got some dishes here for transmitting information, we've got plenty of monopropellant for the RCS, um, and it's all going to be controlled by a probe so that we don't have to send any Kerbals into orbit with this station. So we're going to call this Kerbin Space Station, the KSS. Um, this is our first attempt at designing a working space station for use in orbit above Kerbin. Save that. Okay, and now we need to put together the engines and the fuel that are going to put this thing into space. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to start assembling the booster stages.
Okay, welcome back to the launch pad everybody. Here we have the Kerbin Space Station mounted on its launching rockets. We have all our control surfaces, fuel lines, engines all ready to go. So let's get our SAS on, our throttle up. And we are ready for launch in five four three two one we're off the ground it's a very slow launch these solid boosters are probably not quite meaty enough but we shall see how it goes Okay, so we have just spent all our fuel in our main stages. We only have this one fuel tank left. If we have a look at our orbit, we are in an orbit, but our periapsis is actually just inside the atmosphere. So we're going to have to whiz round to the apoapsis and increase our periapsis up. Our apoapsis is at just under 300,000 meters, which is actually not a bad height for our apoapsis. I wouldn't mind our space station actually being probably a little bit higher than that, um, which will make it easier for ships to come in from other planets to dock with the space station. But I think for now we'll leave it at about 300,000, but we'll keep the fuel on the station so that if we need to raise that later we can do, because 300,000 will be okay for sending other ships up to meet with the ship with the space station. So we'll get around to our apoapsis, we'll raise our periapsis up out of the atmosphere outside 70,000 meters, maybe to about 80,000, something like that. And then we'll see maybe about raising our apoapsis out later. And we'll actually have this station in a, 
a, a kind of an egg-shaped orbit to serve both purposes, both for coming to from the planet and getting to in an apoapsis, uh, and getting to from coming back to the planet. So let's zip round until we're at our apoapsis so that we can burn. Okay, so we're just approaching our apoapsis. I'm just lining us up for a prograde burn, which will increase the height of our periapsis. Eight seconds to go. Let's get that burn started, shall we? Are we burning? Ah, there we go. Now we're burning. Okay, 85,000 metres. I think that'll do. 85,000 metres by 296,000 metres. And we have... Uh, oh, a very dark. Hang on, let's turn the lights on. There we go. We have a space station in orbit. No people on it, but we have a lab. We have a hitchhiker's... Uh, pod for some extra crew. We have our RCS. We're looking good. In fact let's use that RCS just to stabilize ourselves so that we're pointing in the right direction for now. we go. So, we have a space station in orbit. We almost didn't. We had a couple of uh, rocky stages during the launch there where we slowed right down and I didn't think we were quite going to make it, but we overcame it and we are now in orbit and we have quite a lot of fuel in this tank. And we have all our RCS fuel so we could, in theory, send a ship in here, dock it with the station, pump this fuel into it and then send that ship off onto a mission. Although this is also attached by a docking port, so if necessary we can detach this fuel tank and attach it to a different ship. So there we go, we have a space station in orbit. So what I'll do is I'll save this ship design, transfer that over to our live game so that when we do our live stream tomorrow night we can use this ship and it will save us some time we can send this thing straight into orbit and start playing around with it maybe uh, setting up some kind of shuttle system so that we can get people to and from this base relatively easily so thanks for watching this video I hope you've enjoyed watching this launch don't forget to like comment subscribe and share this video to all your friends and I will see you for our live stream tomorrow over on twitch.tv forward slash elbristo other than that I shall see you next time see you later